What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. You guys probably clicked this video because you saw the thumbnail and you were like, yeah, I'm having that issue. To be honest with you, I got good news and I got bad news. Before I give you guys the good news and the bad news, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe. You guys probably ain't gonna like the video because of the answer you're gonna get, the bad news you're gonna get, but still do it for me. Subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Tell me if this helps fix the problem for you. I just wanna know. Your plugin looks like this. Example. you see this like what is this this happened because of the update to studio 15 i believe it was studio 15.3 it started this and this sucks now there is a way to fix it that's the good news but let me tell you the bad news the bad news is that you have to update your plugins in wave central and that's going to cost you money to get the next upgrade so that's bad news right like Especially for me, I ain't got money to just be spending on the same plugins. Truth is, Studio One didn't update the new UI for Waves plugins. That's the truth. And Waves is trying to figure out how to make more money. So you would literally have to go to Wave Central, update it. Here's the good news. Still might be bad news for you, but here's the good news. If you have Studio One 4, it still works. Now, Studio One 4 and 5 are pretty much the same thing. Matter of fact, some would argue that Studio One 4 is better because it doesn't give you a latency problem that you get when you're recording with Studio One 5. I'm gonna just go over to Studio One 4 and show you guys what I mean. If I were to click Waves Tune, this is what we want. This is what we want on Studio One 4. This whole thing you can see, because trying to do it on here is just too much. Like, I literally have to find the knob, click it, this is embarrassing when I got somebody over here recording to find my knobs. Like, I don't like that. This big red thing here, I don't like that. So honestly, I just use Studio One 4 Professional now, unless I don't care about using the Waze plugins. Now the bad news is you may not have Studio One 4 Professional, and I'm sorry that that happened to you. But the good news is if you do have Studio One 4 Professional, you're in the game. Otherwise, you're gonna have to pay for the update. Now, maybe I'm tweaking. Maybe you can upgrade it for free, update it for free. But for me, and I got all these plugins for free from my homeboy, yeah, nah, I'm cool. I'd rather just stick on four. So that's the issue you guys are having. That's the solution. Hopefully, Studio One fixes this soon. I think that they're not going to fix it because they just want to keep going on to the next updates. And they want people to pay for the plugins. So if this gave you guys some more information on what's going on, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more information, more tips. I'm going to keep you guys in the loop. Hopefully, this does get fixed. All right, man. Zell Music, I'm signing out.